Hello there, I'm a member of the training team, and today I'm going to show you how to use the length of stay report. Your practice may need to know how long patients have been receiving services at your facility. The length of stay report calculates the number of days that a patient has been receiving services at your facility, and displays that number in the left-hand side of the page. This report counts the distinct dates of service between and including the admission date and the discharge date for each patient in your practice to arrive at the number of days that it shows. Please note, this report does not count business days or calendar days. For example, if a patient was admitted on May 1st and then discharged on May 5th, then the report would count that as five days, including the admission date and the discharge date. If a patient was admitted May 1st, 2016 and discharged May 31st, 2016 and had eight distinct dates of service between those two dates, then the length of stay would be 10 days. 10 days including all distinct dates of service, the admission date, and the discharge date. To open this report, click on Reports, then Patients, and then Length of Stay. The report will then load with the data. The length of stay and days will appear on the far left-hand side of the page, followed by the patient's account number and name. The next few columns will display the facility, rendering physician, and payer. The DRG column displays a diagnosis-related grouping, and this data is used with MMSI and Medicaid patients only. The admission type code, admission date, discharge date, and number of units billed will appear on the right-hand side of the page. The discharge reason provided on the account level will appear in the DC column. Well, that's all there is to this video. We hope that you found it helpful, and if you did, go ahead and click like at the bottom of the page. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.